Okay, take a look around your shop. Let's say, for example, you've got maybe one of these, one of those, one of these things, something like that. Odds are good that if you get any use out of these things, you have to get rid of a few of these every now and then. Dull blades. So whether it's me, my family, or the trash collector, I don't want anybody to get cut by these things in the garbage. Now typically people will take these blades and just uh, attach them to or hide them inside other pieces of garbage. But I'd rather not have to hunt for that perfect piece of trash every time I need to get rid of a blade. Now I could spend a fair amount of money on a Sharps disposal container, or I could go the cheap DIY route and use a soup can. In my case I chose this can of beef broth. Now I specifically chose a can that did not have the pull tab on top, so the only way you'd be able to get it open is if you had a can opener. Now if you have to get a can with a pull tab on top, it's easy enough to cut that off. Here's an example of one that I made a few years ago. So to get blades into the can, we're using a rotary tool with a metal cutting disc to cut a slot just big enough for one blade to fit through. This will make it easy to get the blades in, and nearly impossible to get them out. And you'll want to do this outside because, well, you'll be spraying beef broth as you cut. Once the slot is cut, I switch to a sanding wheel to clean up the edges. Now if you don't have access to a rotary tool, you can still pretty easily cut that slot just using your utility knife, and then widen it up just a little bit with a screwdriver. So here's the reason I chose beef broth. You need to get all of the liquid out of the can through a very thin slot. And then just use a little bit of water to wash it out a few times. And if there's a little bit of water left inside, that's fine. Ultimately, this thing is going to get thrown in the trash once it gets full, so who cares if there's a little rust on the inside. Now, once you've cut the slot and removed all of the broth, you're basically done. That's all you need to do to get a good container. But you'll probably want to label the can well, just so it's extra clear to you and anybody else who comes across it what it's for and what's inside of it. Now you can do this with a sharpie, or I went a little above and beyond and decided to paint on some, some words and some graphics. And it doesn't look pretty, but it stands out and it reads well. So thanks for watching, and stay safe.